Are you stuck? How about unhappy? Join Elena Chapman, author, mentor, and life coach for Magical Moments with Elena as she challenges you to get out of the doldrum and start living your life to the fullest. Elena will help you take control of your life and push you to do the things you never thought you'd do. So get ready to take back your power and celebrate life with Magical Moments featuring Elena Chapman. Welcome to Magical Moments with Elena Chapman. And it's all about that ease and that flow in your life. I'll tell you what, guys, a lot of people I'm meeting and seeing, oh gosh, I see so much non-ease and flow. (laughs) It is really interesting. The universe gave us this terrible epidemic thing that we lived through for almost two years where we were alone in our house or as much alone as possible in our house. And it's amazing how much of us did not say, hmm, this is a good time for me to discover who I am and bring out the best assets of myself so that I can launch into this new year. But see, this is, this is the thing. Nobody set us up for that. Instead, they set us up for panic, and it's going to get you. It's going to get you. (laughs) And a lot of people suffered a lot of loss, and I'm one of them. You know, I've lost many good friends and, um, well, you know, older friends, mentors. uh, Bernie, a a wonderful mentor of mine, he died. Uh, There were just a lot of people that passed over. So I get it. I get it. But, gosh, that's even a growth for you. Now, here we are. The epidemic is still around, but yet we're getting out and we're starting to deal with it, and people are unprepared. So, anyway, it is time for you to get that ease and that flow. And I have a special show for you today to help you. I'm going to talk a little bit about living with purpose builds legacy. Okay, and I'm just going to, I speak on this when I go and speak at, um, I don't know, CEO space or other little forums that deal with business and entrepreneurism. And I thought, you know what? I think this applies to everyone because if you ask me, knowledge and purpose are truly the little fountains of youth and, uh, you know, forever kind of keeping you young. So let's talk about this. And I have to say, I'm going to start it out with why I can talk about this so that you understand why I even show when you live with your soul how that happens. I, number one, grew up in a very special kind of world. Not that we were rich, because when my dad first started, he had a dream. And I was there for the beginning of that dream. And believe me, we did not have it good. (laughs) I mean, we really didn't have it good. And so I've seen that really rough end where you just can't afford anything. And and yeah, oh gosh, the things. But I also got to see the passion in my dad. And I got to see his never ending faith in his idea and his ability to make it into fruition and in a, a stronger or higher source that was helping him. And my dad started out at the very bottom, and I'll tell you what, by the end, he was um, assistant or vice president of Shearson Lehman Hutton in Vermont, where I grew up. Now, that says a lot. That's a mindset of a man that is a entrepreneur, but a self-made man. That's what we always call a self-made man. Now, that is a man driven by purpose and the legacy So, okay, I want you to just, if you're in your car, don't close your eyes, but just imagine for a minute, imagine that someone, you know, who was a self-made person said, Hey, I want you to come with me. I want you to come meet these people and I want you to help me. You're going to be just someone that they're going to love and they're, they're going to be my clients. So come with me. I said, sure. And I, and, and you are an 11 year old person. So off you go to this wonderful place where all these people, you walk into the room and you see men and women, not a lot of them, maybe about five or six, and they're all talking. But the talking is like electricity, just boom, 
booming in the air, like you hear ideas just flowing everywhere, and laughter, and you, t you hear someone say, yes, I had this business, but it failed, but don't worry, you know, I'm starting this other one, up we go. You know, no fear. Another one says, oh, I just, I have this business. I think I, it's time for me to start this. I, and what do you think about this idea? And what do you think if we took this and took it this way? And wouldn't it be wonderful if everybody could just fly? You know, just like incredible ideas were just flowing. I mean, no limit to the ideas. And nobody was there saying, well, you can't get people to fly. Nobody was there with a negative. Everybody was there feeding the ideas of each other. Now, open your eyes or come back to the reality of the show. <laughs> That's what I grew up in. That's what I saw. I was that 11-year-old girl who got to go with my dad to all these different things. I, I even got to skeet shoot, which is really fun, folks. You know, where you shoot the disc in the air? I would never shoot an animal, but shooting a disc in the air? Oh yeah, that'll do. And I think that is incredibly fun, but this is the thing. I grew up thinking the world was about making ideas and creating and believing in it. To this day, I have friends that do this. I mean... One time I was sitting down at lunch and, and when this pandemic started and uh, I was having lunch with one person and another person comes in and sits down with me and says, doesn't even say hello. He doesn't say hello. <laughs> His company uh, manufactures uh, containers like boxes and things. And he looks at me and he goes, you know, this, this pandemic's really something else, isn't it? I said, yeah, it is. He goes, I got to do something. I said, okay, what do you want to do? He said, and he was quiet for a minute. Then he looks at me straight in the eye. He says, I'm going to close down the factory for a little while, and I'm going to build masks instead. Ba-boom! And it turned out that he, he made masks. You see, this is what it is. When we know our purpose, our purpose isn't being a doctor or a lawyer or a nurse. It is this higher calling that's why I always say, people, we've got to start looking within ourselves. We have to find our true, what is our soul here for? What are we on this planet for? And when we know that, it feeds into every, it, it creates a higher purpose for what we do. So we can live our soul, whether we're a doctor or we are a, I don't know, something, making carpets or putting in carpets, or, or a postman, or a, a, a craftsman of some sort, a, a carpenter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who you are. You, your purpose will shine through, and all of a sudden, you will have a higher reason for living. Now, with this success, this is kind of a, this is what everyone calls Earl Nightingale, Bob Proctor, Tony Robbins. All these people call this a success mindset, and it's full of purpose. And people ask me, they, you know, what, what would you characterize as, as a success? Or what do a, a mindset of a successful person? And I'll tell you. And what is legacy? Legacy. I think that's so funny. We always think it's this brick and mortar or it's all this money we go down into. I don't know. I think money, if it, when it's inherited, sometimes it, it, sometimes it actually handicaps people from their own creativity because they just start to protect the money. I've seen that happen over and over. But the real legacy of these people for me is seeing someone who is alive in their purpose, who just wants to create and make the world a better place, who really is on fire with creating something beautiful in this life. And it doesn't have to be a product. It can be anything. And then secondly, they have a higher reason for being. They truly want to create something that helps others, that makes this place a better way of living. They really want what's better for everyone, even if they're, you know, they might be wrong, but my gosh, they really do have that desire. And number three, they have this joy of living. 
this joy of living, and absolutely no doubt in their mind that they won't complete what they want to complete. Now, it's a totally different mindset, but it's an exciting life. It's in a perpetual place of living in a creative life. It's really funny. Lots of times when you get together with people, we talk sports, we talk. This, ha this was a come down. I remember the first time I was in a group. Um, I went out socializing and I, I was married and we were going out socializing and I, everybody was talking sports. Okay, fine. Good. I'm glad they did well. Yeah. So what are you going to create? What are you going to do? What's life going to bring you? Where are you? What do you want? That's where I was. I was very bored. Then they started talking about other people, which really didn't, uh, didn't turn me on at all. And I, I got sick of going out and talking. I wanted that electricity. I wanted something that fed my soul, that excitement. I wanted to talk to people about ideas and, and whatever, whatever. Something higher than what's, you know, stuff that we have no control over. So, all right, so here we are. You know, you're sitting in your car, you're having a nice breakfast or a lunch, or you're talking with friends or coffee, whatever. But how do you start to get that? I really think it begins with understanding who we are. And unfortunately, so many of us were not in that incredible environment of electricity and creativity and possibility and opportunity. But here's the thing. You can foster that inside yourself. You can create it. You just have to decide. And you have to know what do you want. And when you know what you want... Then you go after it. With My dad used to say, he told me this when I was three. He said, Elena, you, when you discover your purpose and you really want it, you go after it with everything you have. And then that's when you will find true happiness and contentment. And he's right. He's totally right. Because when you live with that purpose... It gives your life that specialness. It gives you a reason to wake up and put your arms in the air and say, I accept this mission. <laughs> I accept going out there and creating. And it also, it opens your mind from the mundane, everyday heaviness and, oh gosh, the games, the just the heaviness of of problems that people create and live in and want to, and frustrations and nonsense. It lifts you out of that and into a world of, okay, what is it? How am I going to achieve what I want to achieve? What step do I want to take today to make this move? How can I make this world a better place in some way, some fashion? I may not be able to do it on a worldwide level, but darn it, I can do it in my neighborhood. I can do it in my, I can do it in my house. I can do it in my neighborhood. I can do it in my community. I can do it in three communities. I can make it happen. And it grows like, like, a, like an egg. It just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. There's a wonderful book out. It's a uh, the great idea. I think it's called the big idea. It's a child. It's a children's book. But my gosh, it's about this egg, this this purpose, this this dream that fall, this kid finds when he's little. This egg, and it's right with him. And he's like, "Hey, who are you?" And the dream tells him all about his the purpose and who he is. And then he says, "That's cool." And he tries to make it for a while. And he plays with the egg. And he. You know, he's like seven. And then when he gets into teenager years, he says, I don't want that egg. I'm too cool. I don't need to deal with that egg. And then when he gets older, the egg is still with him and it's growing and it's growing. And he starts saying, oh, my gosh, I got to make this a reality. So my question to you is, what's your egg? <laughs> what is it that's following you around? What is it inside you? And then that purpose. That's what I do. Because like I said, the purpose isn't is not the profession you choose. 
It's the road that you choose within the profession. I'll say that again. It is not what you choose to do with your life. It is the road you choose while doing whatever you do in life and creating something from that. If you have a person whose purpose is to help people, like the guy who was inherited his, well, he had his family's um, container business, then inside of him, he knows, I want to help people. I want people to have ease in their life, right? That's what containers do. You know, when you're trying to move, you need a box. You want to put food away, you need something to put it in, right? So that makes ease in our life. How can I make people's lives easier in this pandemic? Do you see? His whole purpose is to make life easier, more um, with flow. He probably has flow as one of his purposes. Me, what I do, I think that the worst imprisonment for a person is their mind. And I know that if we can change and clear out those chakras from all old beliefs about ourselves and old, old dogmas that we think are golden rules and all these things, and we open ourselves up to that there really is nothing except the real truth, which is what we're always trying to discover, but we open up our mind, then we can start to all of a sudden see that we can create anything in our life that we want to create. Longer purposes or purposes that are a journey, they are a journey. And purposes that are quick and right, you can get right away, will manifest right away. The only thing that holds us up is what I believe. So I'm going to challenge you. If you're listening to this and you hear, no, but, no, but, Elena, you don't understand, Elena, whatever, then that is the person who has the dogmas, <laughs> the beliefs, and inside your critical mind is on steroids, and it is telling you that it is not possible. And I am telling you right now, clear it out. Clear it out. If you do anything in your life, clear out that mindset. Start to build the mindset that you can. Listen to podcasts that open up your mind to better and bigger things. Open, um, go to, to meetup groups or whatever on Zoom or if you are out and about, meet people for coffee. People that inspire you. People who will open your mind to, well, you know what? I challenge you on that belief. I challenge you. And instead shows you that world of creativity, that world of filled with purpose. You can also, of course, check out Soul Manifesto. You can contact me anytime at Soul Manifesto. I'm just write in a wonderful comment in the comment sections or call that number at the bottom and say, you know, I want to set up an appointment. Because you owe it to yourself to get in with the right support group, the right groups that are filled with that incredible mindset that I grew up with. Anything is possible, and your soul's purpose can shine through that. Oh, I didn't tell you. My purpose. I have, I have a few. I'm here for freedom. Yes, freedom. I'm here to learn about freedom, create freedom. What does that mean? And can you see how that aligns with my, what I do now? The ultimate freedom. Show that life is truly an illusion. And the other thing is compassion. Compassion. My soul is here for compassion and freedom. Isn't that cool? It guides me in everything from teaching music to helping people with solving the diseases of their gardens, which I did for a short time, to all of a sudden just saying, you know what, it's time to teach this to people all the way around. And that is Soul Manifesto and Elena Chapman. If you want inspiration and you're saying, okay, Elena, where do I start? Well, the, gosh, they're all over. You know, start with Elena Chapman. Start looking on my YouTube. S subscribe. Send it to friends that you know need this right now. Um, other people, I love Alan Watts. 
That's another one you can subscribe to. There's a really great uh, monk of Taoism about ease and flow and th very cool. It's a modality. Open your mind. It is possible. There are so many people out on YouTube that can help foster this. Don't allow people to stay around you that are going to be filled with that negative. Because you've got to open up to your soul. If you truly want to learn why you're here on this earth, then you need to talk to me. Because that's what I do. I help you. Help you clean out all that garbage. <laughs> so that all of a sudden your soul's purpose comes to light. How will it change everything? It changes everything everything. It's like instead of waking up in darkness, you have suddenly turned on a light. You will, you will normally, you will not be lazy about it in any shape, way, or form. You will crave talking to other people who have that incredible mindset. You will wake up saying, I really want this. I, 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 who can I talk to, to to create this? And all of a sudden, your world will turn from every day, I'm got to go to the grocery store after work, and that's the highlight of my day <laughs> to I've got this incredible meeting on Zoom or I got this incredible meeting with people who are entrepreneurs who are creating creating these incredible dreams. And I am part of them. I am creating now. OK, so you're saying, all right, Elena, so I just forget my whole life. If you know me, you know that I'm not going to say, OK, just jump into that, jump out of the frying pan and into the fire. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to say jump out of the frying pan onto the counter and run away <laughs> because what you're going to do is you don't have to quit your job to do your dream. You start your dream. I do this all the time. This is what I've done with hundreds of people. They find their purpose. They say, okay, my nine to five is not doing it for me. Okay. That's all right. It's paying the bill right now. Right? So, all right, you stay along with it, but then you start yours. You start whatever you're doing. I had one guy who was a carpenter, and he, oh my gosh, he, he, he did one job, and then he started building things, art. It, he's not even a carpenter. He's an artist, and he builds incredible things. People started coming. More people started coming. More people. Then he quit his job, and now he does what he wants. That's just an, That's one of the hundreds of examples that I've seen happen. There is no excuse for us to just say, oh, I'm just going to stay in this small world with aggravation, sadness. That's not why we're here. And that's not what successful people do. They really do believe in their ideas. It's time to change all that mindset that says I can't. Do you know when my kids were little and all of, even when they were teenagers, I I did allow them to say a couple curse words. They had certain ages. They were allowed to say certain words. But the one thing they couldn't say is, I can't. To me, that is the worst curse word in the world. It closes down all possibility. But mom, I can't. Ah, don't tell me that. Tell me three ways that you can do it. That's what I tell them. They get very frustrated, but they do it. Now in their own life, they don't have I can't. It's time to change the way that we have been brought up to say that we are this or that. It's time for us to start building that world around us that feeds our soul. Life is too darn short. And it is time for us to understand that the success starts with that wonderful purpose inside of us. And here's the secret. Once you know that purpose, then everything starts to fall in line. And you never, just like those men or women who were building their dreams, and if a business didn't make it, no big deal. We're going to start another one. Purpose is still there, different kind of way to get it there. What it's all about is for you to bring the incredible reason why you're here on this earth to life. We were never meant to have a mundane life. My gosh, we were never meant to just live in routine, to only visit three places a week in our, in our daily life, to live with misery, to live with toxicity, to live with our minds so muddled that we can't even make a decision. Wake up. I mean it. Wake up. You are a soul within a body. Your soul is here to live with whatever purpose you are supposed to learn. 
and bring forth into this world. It's time to tap in. It's time to tap in and discover it. And then once you do, and it's not hard, change a couple beliefs and voila, it pops right out. And then you, my dear, will be that person that is in that room with all that electricity flying around, creating ideas and possibilities. You will be the one who see a need in society and say, hey, I got something that can work. And all of a sudden your life, take 10 years off your life right there. And you will start feeling younger, healthier, and happier. That's what it's about. If you really want to learn more about this, then check out Soul Manifesto. I have a book, Hello Soul, but talk to me because I have really cool things. I have those masterminds that exactly that's what they do. I have incredible masterminds that help people to really... Um, I don't know, fulfill their potential. But not only that, you'll hear the ideas going everywhere, which give you ideas and support. And you get to be in that environment of creativity. I also have retreats. I have the inevitable you. I have healing if you need healing or to work through those ideas. Everything is there. So let check out Soul Manifesto. And if you don't see it there, then say, hey, Elena said this was here. <laughs> I'm looking for this particular thing. Or call the number and they'll, they'll guide you where you need to be. You are only a step away of really starting to live your life. I mean, changing your life to something that's really worth living. Love is spirit. The more you love who you are, what you're doing, and the purpose in your life, and building that incredible legacy just by being you, spirit is in every step of the journey with love. Namaste, my friends. This has been Magical Moments with Elena, featuring Elena Chapman. If you missed an episode, download it now on iTunes, Spotify, TuneIn, CastBox, Deezer, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, or your favorite podcast platform. Learn more online at soulmanifesto.com.